In this video, we want to prove that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal in length, or the opposite sides are congruent. So let's let's start by drawing a parallelogram. That's, that looks very long. Ah, this is actually harder than I expected. Um, that's that's reasonable. I don't want to waste the entire time drawing a parallelogram, but. Okay, this one this one looks okay. So let's use this and let's label the points A, B, C, and D. And by definition, a parallelogram, it is what parallelogram is. The opposite sides are parallel. So these two sides are parallel and these two sides are parallel. And we want to show that the lengths of AB and lengths of CD are the same. And we want to show that lengths of BC, this one, and lengths of AD are the same. So the opposite sides are same in length. An easy way of doing it is by using congruent triangle. By using congruent triangles. And the reason we like to use congruent triangles is because they come up often when you got parallel sides because you got many equal angles going on, and uh, which is in the case for parallelogram. And if we can find congruent triangles, we can find corresponding segments that are equal in length. An easy way of making a congruent triangle is by drawing, drawing a transversal BD by drawing the diagonal. And how is this helping us? to realize first this angle, angle ADB, and this angle, angle CBD, are equal because they are alternate interior angles. So this one and this one are the same. And another thing to realize, this angle and this angle are also alternate interior angles of the par parallel sides AB and CD. So we got two equal angles going on, and you know this side has to be equal to itself. So you have this triangle, ABD, and you got another triangle, BCD, up top, that has to be congruent because they have one, they have two, they have one pair of equal angle, and they got another pair of equal angle, and they got a side between that's congruent, and we call this ASA. So by so by ASA congruence, you know triangle ABD is congruent to triangle triangle C C D B. And by this, you know the corresponding sides are congruent. So you know, so you know A, B, and C, D are the same. So this is telling us A, B, and C, D are the same. And this is also telling us B, C. This is telling us B, C. I don't know why it's two tick marks for A, B. Let's use one tick mark for B, C. And we know B, C is equal to A, D. And our theorem is proven.